Why is the sea salty? Have you ever tasted ocean water and noticed it's salty? Let's explore why that is. Rivers on the move, as rivers travel across the land, they flow over rocks and soil. Along the way, they collect tiny bits of salt and minerals. These invisible pieces get carried along until the rivers reach the ocean. Where does the salt go? Once that salty water reaches the sea, the salt stays behind. When the sun shines on the ocean, it heats the water, turning it into vapor that forms clouds. But the salt doesn't go with it, it stays in the ocean, slowly making the water saltier over time. Volcanoes under the sea. Did you know there are volcanoes under the ocean too? When they erupt, they release heat and minerals, including salt, into the surrounding water. This also adds to the ocean's saltiness. Nature's salt helpers. Plants and animals in the sea play a part too. Some sea creatures use salt and minerals from the water to build their shells. This helps keep the salt levels balanced. Fun fact. Not every ocean is equally salty. Some places, like the Dead Sea, are much saltier than others because they lose more water through evaporation, which leaves even more salt behind. So next time you're at the beach, remember, the sea is salty because of the way rivers, rocks, and underwater volcanoes contribute to its saltiness. It's all part of the amazing way nature works together. See you in the next video, when we will learn even more amazing things about our world. The End